Hi, and welcome to the ninth episode of the Compulsive Canadian Gamer. My name is Chris, and this is the last of a five-day series post-Christmas for all of the uh, different figures that I received from Mrs. Claus this year. So, up today is Artifacts Master Chief. Um, this is Master Chief from Halo 4, and this was put out by uh, Koto Bikia. They are a pretty big Japanese uh, figure designer. They do a lot of extremely detailed figures. Um, some of the best ones in the industry come from these folks. Um, they do everything from comic books to video games. Usually a little bit pricey. Um, you're looking in, you know, 150 and up range typically. Uh, but it is worth it. Their figures are sort of the top of the line. Um, and you'll be hard pressed to find something better out there. Um, that said, let's crack this open, see what it entails. I've been looking forward to uh, to this figure for a lot of years, um, or a couple of years, I guess, since Halo 4 came out. Um, and I just, you know, it's been on my Amazon wish list for, you know, for ages, and finally, <laughs> finally get to add this bad boy to my collection. Slide this out. Now, he comes with a lot of pieces. Um, it's part of the Snap Fit sec Snap Fit collection, um, which usually means there are sort of multiple, uh, you get multiple arms, multiple guns, hands, and so forth, allowing you to do a, bun a bunch of different poses, not just the typical, um, just the regular statue that we see so many times. Kind of, uh, kind of nice. That's one of the, the sort of claims claim to fame uh, that these folks have. Uh, most of the artifacts figures are like that. Um, there is multiple pieces as well as uh, just multiple ways to set things up. Alright, so it looks like he comes with four different arms, um, one of which has a grenade in it. You got the typical hand with you know, the oops, finger on the trigger. Alright, you got a separate set of legs here. And then, they sure do like to use their tape. <laughs> All right. um, this is set up so that he'll be uh, walking down this ramp. Um, I'm imagining, considering this is from Halo 4, this is probably you know one of the. Uh, one of the ramps and forward on the forward underground ship. And he also comes with an assault rifle as well. Okay. This actually, I don't know, after taking a look at this, this, uh, this may not be from forward unto dawn, this could actually be from a four, uh, forerunner installation. Taking a look at the color and whatnot, that actually looks very Forerunner technology. So this just kind of looks like it snaps together down the sides here. Nothing particularly fancy. Um, it does seem well made, hard plastic, um, decently uh, decently put together. This just snaps in here. Oh, on this a little prematurely here. These sides have to come off. It looks like they go to everything goes together with the back here first. So you gotta put the back piece on before you put the uh, slide it into the top possibly. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Um, decent weight to the set, I'd say, you know, two, three pounds, give or take. Um, solidly made. There you go, you can see the base. And uh, there's a couple of holes in the base for where his feet are going to fit. Um, the the legs themselves, this is a solid piece. There is no, uh, no articulation in the joints whatsoever. Um, and then on the bottom of his feet, he actually has sort of two pegs there. Those will fit into the ramp itself. Um, so it looks like the only customization that you're going to have for Master Chief is going to be what he's holding. Slide those in. There we go. Um, Alright, let's see what we can set up for him here. So, I'm going to 
fan more of the rifles than I am of the grenade, so let's slap his hand into here. that across and we'll put this other arm in here. Um, the wrists do have articulation to them, um, not so much the elbows. You've kind of got a couple of different stances here that fits snug. His hands are on little, uh, the, the typical little ball joints, um, so you can just kind of slap another, uh, another hand on if you're so inclined. There we go. Pop him on his base. All right, there we go. Um, so really, uh, really nicely detailed figure. Again, um, Artifacts is really known for uh, for putting out high quality um, designed figures. Paint job is really nice. Um, the armor looks uh, looks identical to what was in the game. He's uh, he's solidly built. Um, I don't know if uh, if the other arms were really necessary. Uh, they're actually pretty because he only comes with the one gun. Um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they would have actually included other arms in this uh, in this set. To be honest, he does. One of the arms actually has like a grenade stuck in his hand but other than that there's not uh, there's not a whole lot of other purpose to it so all right um, yeah that pretty much wraps up our uh, our five day run here tune in uh, sometime this week uh, probably within the next day or two I will be putting up the uh, the re-review of the Nika Needler uh, now that I have another one here in hand and um, that'll just be sort of a supplemental video, not the, the typical. Um, as well as later this week, we will be doing the Samsung Gear VR review, our first review on the Compulsive Canadian Gamer. And uh, that's about it. Thank you all for tuning in. This has been a great five days. And uh, have a happy 2016. And we will, uh, happy new year. And we'll, uh, I look forward to doing a lot more videos and you guys tuning in. Thanks very much. Peace out.